Welcome back inside Gillette Stadium, everybody. My name is Mike Petralia, and this is the Five from Foxborough, powered by CLNS Media and Greats.com, your online store for great-looking shoes. The Patriots coughed one up here to Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers on Sunday afternoon in stunning fashion, losing on a last-second Graham Gano 48-yard field goal. The final score, Carolina 33, the Patriots 30. This time, the Patriots quarterback, their superstar, Tom Brady, could not rescue the team from their woeful uh, defense. And that is where we start the five from Foxborough today. The cornerbacks and the secondary, just atrocious. It's not the fact that Cam Newton was 22 of 29, 316 yards. It's the fact that the Patriots secondary gave up completions of 43, 39 yards to Kelvin Benjamin, 28 yards to Fozzie Whitaker on a touchdown, 25 yards to Eric Dixon, uh, Dixon, and 16 yards and 13 yards. It was a horrific day for the secondary because the Patriots were leaving wide open gaps all along the second level of their defense and the Carolina Panthers and Cam Newton took advantage of that going six for nine on third down on the day a big reason the Panthers were able to build up a 30 to 16 lead heading into the fourth quarter. Tom Brady did it again. He led a fourth quarter comeback, tying the game on an eight yard touchdown throw over the middle on fourth and goal to Danny Amendola. The crowd went nuts. And then it looked like on a Dietrich Wise sack of Cam Newton, they were going to get the ball back. But lo and behold, the Patriots get called for an illegal hands to the face, the second of the game by Stefan Gilmore, it kept the drive alive. Cam Newton drove the team down and it ended the, the drive on a last second field goal by Graham Gano. Our second point of the day here at Foxborough, Tom Brady wakes up late. The offense had its struggles after starting off the game very quickly. The Patriots get out to leads of three nothing and 10 to three, but then they kind of go dormant and Tom Brady felt the pressure. He was not particularly sharp. Uh, there was a wide open Dwayne Allen down the field for 42 yards. Dwayne Allen could have made the catch along the sideline, but he let it slip through his hands. The ball was a tad bit underthrown by Brady. Patriots were just out of sorts until Brady got them back on track in the fourth quarter. Tom Brady falls short in his bid to tie Brett Favre and Peyton Manning for the most all-time regular season wins, uh, all-time with 185. He's stuck on 185. Both Favre and Manning have 186. The final numbers on the day for Brady, 32 of 45, 307 yards, two touchdown passes, and he was sacked three times. Point number three, and we mentioned this earlier, the bad penalties. It wasn't just Stephon Gilmore committing the two bad uh, hands to the face to Kelvin Benjamin that kept drive, drives alive for the Panthers. It was also on the offensive side of the ball, and it was offensive pass interference. The Patriots get called for not one but two in the first half. The first one was on Danny Amendola setting a pick over the middle uh, for Rob Gronkowski. That was a pretty obvious call. Then the second one was an uh, offensive pass interference on Rob Gronkowski. It didn't really look like much. Very next play, Tom Brady finds Rob Gronkowski down the field on the right sideline. Pass fell incomplete, but uh, Rob Gronkowski threw up his arms uh, in a salesman-type gesture, a Hollywood gesture, if you will, really sold the play. He got the call. The Patriots capitalized uh, with a touchdown uh, just a couple of plays later. Point number four. The Patriots now have a short week to get ready for Jameis Winston and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They play them down in Tampa on Thursday night football. Bill Belichick made it pure and simple after the game. He said, look, as he always does after a loss, we have to coach it better, but we have to play it better. And I think that's kind of a message to the players in the locker room that something needs to change. And point number five I had a chance to talk to Deron Harmon, one of the safeties uh, for the Patriots. And after the game, he said, look, we've made it as simple as we can. We can't make it any more simple. We've got to tackle better. We've got to play it better. We've got to communicate it better. And until we do that, we're going to struggle. Well, the Patriots have a short week to really get this ship turned in the right direction. They've been 2-2 two and two before. We all know that. Back in 2003, they were 2-2 two and two and went on to win the Super Bowl back in 2001, they were 1-3 and three and won the Super Bowl. And just three years ago in 2014, they were 2-2 two and two coming off that horrific Monday night loss in Kansas City and got the ship righted and they won the Super Bowl. But this has a much different feel. Back in 2014, the Patriots 
were not playing well on offense, but you figured Tom Brady would eventually get it figured out, and he did. This is a much different story. The Patriots have to get it figured out on defense, and you're expecting players like Stephon Gilmore, Deron Harmon, and Devin McCourty to really pick up their play. Certainly, Harmon and McCourty are leaders in that secondary. It'll be interesting to see how Malcolm Butler, Deron Harmon, and Eric Rowe, who was injured in this game and left with a sore groin, how they respond to what the defensive secondary players have to tell them. They're going to have to have a short, they're going to have to have a very intense week on a short week, get it all figured out, and head down to Tampa and have it, try to have a shot at beating Jameis Winston and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Thursday night. We'll have complete coverage on clnsmedia.com. Be sure to hit it up there. Follow me on Twitter at Trags, T-R-A-G-S. This has been the Five from Foxborough, powered by Greats.com, your online shoe source. Use the promo code Trags, T-R-A-G-S, for a 15% discount on all items online. The final again here inside Gillette Stadium on Sunday. It was the Panthers 33 and the Patriots 30. Inside Gillette Stadium, this is the Five from Foxborough for CLNS Media. I'm Mike Petralia.